Good morning. It's Monday. It's bank holiday here in the UK and welcome to Sabah's way of life. Can you hear the nature around me? Look. This is a lovely country park which is just walking distance from where I live and for those of you who've been watching this channel for a while will know that this is where I come to regularly to commune with nature, to commune with God, with the mind behind the universe. And it is not something that I do. When I say I, I'm, I'm trying to also help you to understand my way of thinking, but this is not something I do as an option or a nice to do. It is an absolute priority for me to gain and retrieve and return back to my balanced state of being that's mind my body through the exercise and the movement and my spiritual side which you can't see we we can't see can we but we know it's there which is our emotions feelings within our heart and it's at these moments and these times that the greatest inspiration comes to me all of us will have this especially if you go and I would say only if you go alone on your own most of the time not always obviously and funnily enough, last night, um, I couldn't sleep, I didn't sleep very well. Well, actually, you <laughs> tell a lie. I slept till midnight, because I, I sleep when the sun goes down, generally. Now it's kind of about 9, 9.30. And I woke up at um, midnight, and whenever something like that happens, and then there's no apparent reason, there's always a reason. The paradoxes are incredible in nature's intelligence systems. And I was up till four o'clock and then I went back to sleep and then I was up again at six because I have hens to feed. And the window's always slightly ajar. Always sleep with your window slightly ajar, no matter how cold it is. Um, have nice snuggly duvets on top but make sure the temperature of the room is nice and cold cool um, as possible and have the window slightly ajar so that you have some level of oxygen coming in it just makes all the difference try it do it I would say um, so I was up at, up at six but still got decent sleep I'm not complaining I got decent sleep but it's not it's broken and when that happens, there's always a tendency, certainly for me, is I don't get up and plough on. I've been there and done that and it doesn't work. Years and years of abusing my body because of an interest in power, profit and control. And total control freak and of course running a financial business um, eventually ended in Crohn's disease, which was not a very pleasant place to be. So I'm not going back there again. So what I've learned from that lesson and from healing completely naturally, what I've learned from that lesson is to respect nature's intelligence systems of which we are a big part. And whenever something like that happens, I don't go back to sleep. Some, some of you might. Um, I, can't, I can't do that because once the sun is up, I actually physically can't sleep. Get outdoors. Just get out and walk and come somewhere, wherever you can, that is as much immersed in nature as possible. And if you live in a concrete jungle, then at least you have the sky, so go to some kind of an open space if you can. Over here, my sensory 
perception is so acute because it's been raining and I've got a great Mac on that doesn't stop me in some Wellington boots and you can smell nature you can smell the flowers and the birds have you ever stopped to really absorb and listen to bird song there's a frequency and a vibration that r resonates with something inside your heart center it does with mine and that in itself heals that in itself inspires that in itself creates that is part of the communing with that energy and the mind behind behind the the universe god although i don't like to use the word god um, especially after reading a lot about the language of Aramaic and learning that actually it's actually dog back God backwards is dog and I don't like that word I think let's call it just the mind behind the power behind the universe the I don't know creator So what I wanted to just try and share with you today is not to forget how important it is to spend that time in silence. And by the way, let me just stop for a moment. If you think it's easy to be silent, think again. Silence is an exercise, it's a, it's a state. And if you're in this kind of surrounding, it's very helpful because you can lose yourself which is a really lovely thing, lose yourself in, in the arms of nature's systems, nature's intelligent systems. But otherwise, it's hard work being silent. Try being silent, even keeping your breath silent if you can. You, I would say your entire physiology changes when you do this and you start to um, what I have found is ever since I've been doing this coupled with many many other things um, you start to wake up to reality and what's going on around you and the the um, the system that we're living in starts to make sense as to why it's an illusion um, I, I believe the earth is very real we're here for a reason but it's not our it's not our end place. I mean, there's no way. Um, but it was made for the human being, and it's for the human being to enjoy and to love and to respect what um, nature's intelligent systems have given us. Systems again, that word. And you, you will be able to commune and understand what reality is and what an illusion is, which quite often is used as the word matrix, um, but be careful how we use that word. All I'm asking you to think about doing, not think about, do it, no, do it, is to get out into nature regularly, spend time alone and in silence, and just observe what happens within you, to you, over a period of time. You will change. It's impossible to be the same especially if you do it consciously. It's a, you, you, you connect to a different frequency, a different bandwidth. A lot, you can use all different terms. People use the word consciousness, which is the most commonly used term, but I like the fact that we are beings of electricity. There's an electric current that runs through us. And if we connect to source on that frequency, just like a bandwidth, the radio bandwidth, um, e e you become an extremely powerful, you become extremely intuitive. You are able to um, you can see and read things ahead of time and I believe that the human being, the real human being, you become human again, that's who we are, has that 
ability by nature and it is being stripped from us by the, by the system, the elite system, because whoever the, they are, and they do commune with Satan and the devil, they know we've got this power. I, I, I mean, I'm absolutely sure of this. And when you are able to connect, that's what they're afraid of. I keep um, changing my, my tone, but that is what they're afraid of. And I, at this time as well, if you read up on astronomy, and astrology and so on, um, well, it's the big subjects, um, not the mainstream rubbish, go inside and read a little bit more. You'll realize that the the way the, um, the alignment, the planetary alignment is set up at the moment is helping us to absorb that connection to source and connect to it in a very, very powerful way. And that is the reason that the, that the the satanic bandwidth, which is a very different materialistic bandwidth, is pulling us away and keeping um, keeping our attention diverted all the time. Keeping the sun out of the sky, changing the weather, which has been going on for hundreds of years through geoengineering, damaging our food, our thinking. You really must take this seriously, and it's so easy to change. You just decide you're going to do it, and get yourself off of the screen. <laughs> get off this screen as soon as you've listened to me. Put it away and spend your time doing other things. Work hard on other things and gain skills. I keep talking about skills. I've been talking about it for years. Do something you enjoy and become skillful at it because that's what's going to matter in the years to come while the system is crumbling and it's going through its own self-destruction, implosion, I call it. Anyway, I'm very wet, but it's a beautifully warm day and um, it's going to be a big garden update tomorrow because we're set to have very warm weather for the rest of the week and we've got the new moon tomorrow or the day after and I'll be in the garden most of the time. It's a fruit day the next two days, I think, so there's a lot going on. Have a good day.